this video is on frequency distribution so there are two types of frequency distribution one is discrete frequency distribution and the other one is continuous frequency distribution in discrete frequency distribution the data is given in a very straightforward manner straightforward manner now what do I mean by that let me just give you an example suppose you have a data set on one column you have the marks and the other you have number of students number of students now randomly we have marks like 40 60 70 again we have uh, we can choose any number we want to 8 9 or 2 so this data clearly states that there are 8 students who have got 40 marks as simple as that similarly you have a 9 student who has got 60 marks then you have 2 students who have got 70 marks so this is the kind of straightforwardness I was referring to so always remember in discrete frequency distribution the data set is going to be pretty straightforward remember that now on the other hand in continuous frequency distribution data is arranged in a class or a group now what do I mean by that let me just show it to you with an example suppose you have a data set again same wise you have marks on one column and then you have students number of students in one column now here when we say class or group we mean something like this 10 to 20 or 22 to 30 then we have 30 to 40 and then we have 40 to 50 and here students we can put it as 2 3 4 5 something like this now here the interpretation will be totally different it will be two students have got marks between 10 to 20 it can be anything between 10 to 20 it can also be the number 10 as well as 20 inclusive otherwise there's a whole set of 10 numbers that can actually be the marks of two students so I hope you're getting the difference between these two in discrete frequency distribution the data is pretty straightforward okay and in continuous the data is in the form of class or group therefore the measurement is not exactly measurable like you cannot go on to say that what is the exact amount of marks so and so student has got but you can just point towards a particular interval or a class so always remember these are called class in the next video we will solve some questions related to frequency distribution